nothing. Or on what? Back. Oh, not again. What the hell are you doing down there? I found a dead jogger. Yeah, that part I figured out. Why are you dragging it around? Well, I couldn't just leave him on the path. Why not? Why not? What do you mean, why not? What if someone saw it or tripped over it or, God forbid, what if one of the little ones saw it? That would be awful. Who cares? The little ones are the most self-absorbed anyway. <laughs> Decomposition is just a part of life. The sooner they realize that, the better. I am not leaving this body out here to teach human children about decomposition. That's disgusting. Well, leave it for those orange people to take care of. You know, the ones who are always trying to cut down my trees? Uh, those are called volunteers, and we've had this discussion. Your trees are dead. They're trying to help. Hey. I'll decide if my trees are dead or not. I don't need some idiot with a screaming chainsaw to tell me anything. I don't want them to see a decomposing body either. Ever. Still don't see what you're doing here. Oh, um, well, you know, I thought that if we want to keep the body hidden, maybe I could stick it up in one of your trees. You've got to be kidding me. Out of sight, out of mind? Look, you stupid! Oh. Hey, are you okay? Ugh, life was so much easier before we lost our wings. Yeah, well, if we had more land, they'd probably grow back. Whatever. 
Anyway, I've got my own problems to worry about. I mean, between the orange people. Volunteers. Orange people trying to cut down all my trees. The fact is that they are dying. And I've got enough to worry about what with the emerald ash borers and all the other invasive crap. If you add a dead body up in one of my trees, I don't even want to know what's going to show up. Just leave it in the grass. I can't. Half of these bushes and plants are invasive. And the volunteers come through here to try to clear it all out. It's way too obvious here. The body has to be hidden. <laughs> Not in my trees. Ugh. You sure it's dead? Yeah. Well, why don't you take it down to the stream? Just drop it in. I mean, that should work. That's actually a great idea. Uh, but will you help me take it there? Fine. I'll take the front. Let's go. Go harder, would you? <sighs> Seriously, right now you're gonna do this? I'm leaving you, baby, just because you won't be true. Are you even serious right now? I thought she'd tan closer to the bridge. Yeah, well, apparently you were wrong. Oh, hey, we didn't see you there. Yeah, no shit. What exactly are you planning on doing with that body? Are you seriously going to throw it in my river? Well, technically it's a stream. <laughs> Look, we're just trying to get rid of this thing. It died on the trail, couldn't leave it there, or stick it up a tree. So, you know, we thought we could just, you know, push it in the stream, let it float on down until it gets stuck in some mud or something. Oh, hell no. You are not throwing the thing in my river. Do you know how much pollution those things cause? Well, I mean, I think it actually has to be alive to do that, in the way that you mean. Those things are disgusting, and full of germs and cholesterol, and you are not throwing it in my river. Stream. Oh, shut up and go back to your weeds. I spend more time cleaning crap out of my poor waters, and you want to throw this gross thing in. No. No way. Well, what am I supposed to do with it? I can't just leave it here. Hi, guys. Oh. oh. Hey, Lucinda. How's the election going? Oh, apparently my campaign isn't inspiring enough to get my fellows to shed their reservations about electing me as their new leader to fight the human horde. I mean, but it's, it's not over yet, is it? No, it's just disheartening. I am clearly the best candidate. I am the most experienced. Well, I'm sure it'll get better. Thanks. I just never thought my friends could be so spiteful. Hey, now, there's no call for that. She said spiteful, not sprightful. Oh. So, uh, what you doing? Dead human. They're trying to throw it in my river. Stream. Stream. Whatever. If it's water, it's my jurisdiction, and you're trespassing. Hey, she tried to put them up my trees too, okay? Well, I don't know what else to do with it. I can't just leave it here, and I'm not gonna let the volunteers in the grass stumble over it. <laughs> You can take your volunteers and cram them up your grass. What flavor is it? Dead flavored? You know, this might look good in the polls. Wait, what would? 
What do you... Oh, gross. What better way to stick it to the man than by swallowing him whole? Uh, I don't know about that. Like, I haven't done this before. I hope he tastes like tomatoes and cheese. Oh, I can't even handle this. I'm going back upstream. And if I ever see you near my shores again with any more dead humans, I will flood your asses. That was both disgusting and awesome, and I never want to look away. Ugh. Oh, so full. How <laughs> was it? Well, he sure didn't taste like tomatoes and cheese. He's tasted more like sweat and anxiety and a pervasive sense of hopelessness. Like he's got an election coming up, too. Where'd you find this guy? Oh, uh, well, it's been real, guys, but I gotta get back up into my trees. I will be watching you from very high up. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad you came, Lucinda. Now everything's back as it should be, and no one has to worry about a thing. Boy, oh, you bet. So, uh, you think you could roll me back into the grass just so I could digest this guy in peace? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Here. Boy, babe.